Hello, in today's video we're going to write some JavaScript code that can calculate the length of vectors. The vectors, again, as in the previous video, will be represented as a JavaScript array. And to calculate the length of a vector, you take the square of the, of the components of the vector, you sum that up and you take the square root of it. Okay? In the two-dimensional case, this is pretty obvious because the length of h, when you break it up to x and y, is, is given by the Pythagorean formula, okay? Which is just the square root of the sum of the squares of these components x and y. For higher dimensional vectors, it turns out to be quite similar, okay? So you just sum up the squares of the components, you take the square root, and that's it. So, let's say we have a vector v1 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? So for this vector, I want you to write, not actually not only for this vector, but for all vectors that we can use, I want you to write a JavaScript function, for example, vectlang, and this function is given one parameter, let's call it vec, and you should write some code now, so that the function returns the length of the vector, okay? The length of the vector in this case would be, it would be like 1 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 3 times 3 plus 4 times 4. And then we take the square root of that, okay? So that's math s squared t square root of that. So the answer should be actually 5.47. Okay, so why don't you take five minutes, try it out for yourself, post the video, try to find the solution here, and when you're ready, get back to the video. Okay guys, welcome back. I hope you found the solution, or at least you did some coding that's already cool. So let's try it. Function vecLan from vec. So again, as stated in the previous video, one of the most important things is to check the parameters, okay? So we check if vec is indeed an array, and only then we continue, okay? If vec, or if array dot is array of vec, then we do the calculation, okay? Otherwise, we log something out. Console.log error vec is not an array whatsoever okay and this time I want to define the answer variable that that will actually hold the answer value at the beginning and I want to return it at the end and in this case as I want to uh, as I want to return zero in case when WAC is not an array I don't need to return it explicitly here I don't need to do this because ans is already zero and it will be returned there, okay? So let's do the actual calculation step. To iterate through an array, again, we will use a for loop. So let i go to zero. Okay. And now in, in, in the body of the for loop, we just sum up the square of the current value, okay? So to our answer, to all the values we collected up to now, we add, oops, we add the current value squared actually. So it's vec of i times vec of i, okay? And yeah, after the for loop, we need to take the square root, okay? So we say ans equals to math dot s t of ans. Let's try this. Vecland of v1 equals 5.47, which is the same as we did manually here. So our function seems to work. Okay, so let's test our function with even more values. Vec.lan, for example, of 2 and 3 
and notice here again I can I can define the arrays directly on the fly and don't need to I don't need to store them in variables okay this should yield something like uh, 2 times 2 is 4 3 times 3 is 9 4 plus 9 is 13 so it should yield a value between 3 and 4 let's do this it's 3.6 very good so let's try it again vaclan how does it behave with really long 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 vectors i mean what's long for a computer right this is nothing 869 so congratulations you wrote some cool piece of code you can now calculate the length of vectors and it doesn't matter if it's two-dimensional vectors three-dimensional vectors or however how long is this array well let's find out right it's pretty easy to do that we are programmers so we can do this it's a 22 dimensional vector so that's it for this video i hope you learned something new i hope you enjoyed it if you liked the video give me the thumbs up subscribe to my channel spread the word watch my other videos whatsoever happy coding and see you next time